A 17-year-old junior who attends two schools, John F. Kennedy High School in Belmore and Barry Tech Boses of Nassau County in Westbury, where he studies electrical contracting, is slowly recovering from a critical case of meningitis. In a coma for a few days. He's got out of it sometime yesterday. Shaken friends describe their classmate as now off a respirator and very lucky. His relieved parents posting this photo and writing on social media, we want to thank everyone for the outpouring of support. Our son is not completely out of the woods yet, but he is on his way. Scary stuff, you know, and the teacher had um, connections to that too, so it was like one of their friends, so it's like not something to be messed around with. Everyone's just a little bit worried. I mean, I think he's going to be okay personally. I hope he gets better. The disease is spread by respiratory and oral secretions, kissing, sharing drinks or utensils, even lipstick. Meningitis infects the bloodstream, can lead to brain damage, amputations, and sometimes death. It is from a public health perspective a medical emergency, and our role is to make sure that nobody else in the community contracts the disease. The Belmore Merrick superintendent alerting district families on its website. Anyone who had close contact with a student within the 10 days before May 3rd should contact a doctor immediately. I hope that he recovers fast and it's not going to take a slow process. So I really and hope. What's the mood in the school today? Um, I feel like today everything's slowing down. Everything's getting better now. The health commissioner says his investigation and notifications continue. Parents should look for early warning signs, a rash, stiff neck, followed by high fever and vomiting. The best prevention? Vaccine. From Belmore, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And doctors say parents should not panic. The risk from casual contact is said to be not significant uh, enough to warrant concern.